Hi, this is Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Today I'm reviewing TechSmith's Camtasia Studio 8. Now this is a screen capture program um, and it's by far my favorite. I use this a lot of times to produce any of the videos and the overview videos for any of the software that we review here at Damn Good Reviews and this is really the only tool that I have turned to. Camtasia Studio 8 has been rebuilt from the ground up and uh, they have done some really amazing things here and offer some really amazing features. With the rebuild, we get some lightning fast editing and, um, and things like that, which really make using this program a cinch. You'll see here we have our basic window. I just uh, dropped in a, a quick capture, but obviously we're capturing the studio program right now. You can go ahead and you can select uh, if you want a full screen capture, or you can also select different areas that you can capture too. Now just to give you an idea, just to give you an idea of what we have available here, we have our clip bin, which we can import videos or videos that we've recorded. Also, we have our library where we can go back and we can select different things, including, including music and call-out banners and things like that, and we can import different media and get more media. Also, they have call-outs. This is great for on-screen training and things like that. Call-outs are things like this where we have an arrow and we can animate stuff like this using keyframes, change colors, add text. Um, this is really great for someone trying to learn a program and showing them where they need to click. So here you go. Need to click? Click right there. We can remove the call out. Also we have this excellent feature called the zoom and pan feature. So instead of making someone watch something where it's just one constant video, who wants that, right? We can use a zoom and pan feature and we can scale the frame. We can select on the frame where we want to go and we can use keyframes to select and toggle how this needs to work. So we can always do a smart focus which will um, focus to certain areas. But then if we want to say maybe we want to just go ahead here and I want to show this program which uh, had Adobe Premiere Elements running. Um, I can select here and then I can show the different areas and by doing that we can easily go ahead and say we want to highlight a certain area we can zoom in and we can show our viewer instead of showing just a normal screen if we want to go ahead let's uh, do the smart focus the smart focus is actually not going to work with this because I don't have enough clips but it's a really great feature and, and what that will do is pretty much just give you a focal point for what you're trying to highlight. We have our audio features as well. This makes it very easy to either record other audio or just edit the existing audio. We have basic tools like volume up and volume down, fade in features, we can do silence. Um, you know, volume leveling, which will take this and make it um, a constant level. Really, really easy. We have noise removal features and advanced features. Um, if we want to do some noise removal with adjusting sensitivity, removing clicks and pops and things like that. Really, TechSmith has put everything here to make a perfect presentation. Of course, because it is somewhat of a video editing system, we can use the transition feature. And we have tons of different transitions, including the typical crossfades and dissolves, but also other transitions, including things like the blinds and checkerboard. And my whole thing is really you don't want to be using these unless you're producing a video for a wedding or a sweet 16. Really no reason to be using checkerboards, but the options are here. And a lot of times some presentations, people are just blown away with it when they don't know anything about video. My biggest thing is do a straight cut or jump cut or just use the, the fade features. Um, you really can't go wrong with those. We have some more options here. We have cursor effects. Um, what the cursor effect will do is we can take this and what it will do is on the screen record it will follow the mouse around and it will highlight it so the user can watch where you're going. We can add sound effects and uh, some more options as far as a right click effect. So we want to do rings like that we see it right there it will highlight so we know it's a right click or a left click now we also have some other options here as far as visual properties we can do other animations if we want to scale the frame scale it in and out again that will work a lot like we just showed you before the zoom and pan features we can add drop shadows and colorize and border tons and tons of features really to make a great presentation 
we have voice na narration options and as you see you can see me talking right here we can adjust it we have an audio setup wizard and then um, you can do that and re-record over your project and uh, lay down another narration track if you have have to uh, we can record a camera and you'll see here there I am we can record the camera and we can use that right there and then also the camera does not record at full screen which you really don't need but it will give you something down in the corner here uh, when it plays back which is kinda cool if you want to really interact with your uh, customers and let them see you we also have a quizzing feature down here and now the quizzing feature is a great way to interact with people watching your um, you know your videos your presentations and you can add a quiz that's at the end and make it a little bit more interactive and by doing that uh, you can interact with the people uh, watching your video now once we're done here I'm gonna show you a quick little editing uh, once I stop this recording and drag it into the timeline but also of course we have our import media options and we can import a bunch of different um, formats we have everything from AVI MPEG WMV movie files JPEGs uh, mp3s WAV files um, really a lot of different formats that you can bring in making this really easy to export your products we can share it to screencast.com share it directly to YouTube or we can produce and share for a variety of different uh, devices we have shared to YouTube we can create a 720 mp4 um, you know other mp4s custom production settings where we can make a uh, you know them a little bigger we have other formats WMV movie files AVI mp4 tons and tons of options so go ahead uh, take a look and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this real quick and I'm gonna bring it down into the timeline and I'm gonna show you some of the editing features here you go I drag this down into the timeline what we just shot the overview video and just to give you a couple of ideas of uh, the editing features available um, we can go ahead we can obviously we can go through the track here and, and jog it and shuttle through it or we can simply split the track so we need to split it and drag it around whatever we have to do we can split the audio split the video and then we also have some other things we have copy and uh, cut and, and all those basic options we could always go ahead and add more tracks if we want to um, we can also uh, lock or unlock the tracks if we don't want anything to move uh, right here we have the option to enter a uh, just a show the marker view or show a quiz view so we can select where we want a quiz to appear one of the other options that we have here speech to text so um, you can set up the microphone you can go through all the different options again so we have this selected here as a call out actually that was the call out that I put in there but let's go ahead we can do the zoom feature Again, we can just show you how that works. There you go. And now you can see how that works just overall. Camtasia Studio 8 is really, by far, my favorite studio capture program. Uh, I highly recommend it. This program, by far, gets one damn good review. Also, um, if this is out of your budget, number one, they do offer academic discounts. So if you are in school, uh, you have that option. Also, TechSmith offers a free screen capture utility called Jing. That's J-I-N-G, which will capture up to five minutes. Um, and you can also select the area that you want to capture, whether it's video or if it's a photo. But again, uh, the features that they are offering, the speed and everything in between is really excellent in Camtasia Studio 8. And one thing about TechSmith is they're very, very good about listening to their users' comments and feedback about getting new features into the newer upcoming products. So I highly recommend it. Go ahead to TechSmith website, uh, download, I believe it's a 30-day trial. Give it a try for yourself. It's definitely worth the money, and uh, I highly recommend it. This is Alan from Damn Good Reviews. We're checking out Camtasia Studio 8. Again, this definitely gets one damn good review. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.